Hello sir, welcome to Ashwa Thoughts on Education. Dr. Samrat sir, as you are the Dean and Head of International Relation at IIMS College. So we would like to know more about your journey and as you have 15 years of work experience, so where do you see yourself after 5 years? Yes, so uh, thank you very much uh, uh, for you know this wonderful morning in Pune, uh, India. So uh, yeah, uh, uh, I started my journey long ago uh, in Europe, actually, you can say that I have expertise, global expertise in Eurasia, particularly Germany, Italy, Latvia, Scandinavian countries, uh, Russia and uh, Dubai. So I have been uh, leading many uh, important institutions and uh, bodies, academic bodies in uh, Europe as well as Dubai. So um, uh, in my last term, I was a professor, you know, in uh, one of the top 100 universities in Russia, uh, in St. Petersburg. Um, and I did my PhD in economics and in behavioral uh, psychology from one of the top 100 universities according to US ranking. Um, and uh, it is one of the universities where most of the Nobel laureates of the world were produced okay, in Russia. So um, thereafter, uh, you know, uh, I came down to India and uh, I joined uh, IIMS uh, and took over you know, the a very important uh, uh, unit, uh, the unit of international affairs and global partnership. Uh, according, uh, yeah, in line with the you know the vision and mission of our uh, uh, you know leader, uh, Professor Manisha Mundada. Uh, he he's a very visionary leader. You know he wants. Uh, uh, he is a very apt leader who welcomes change, uh, constructive uh, growth, and um, and and he, according to his alignment. Uh, we are moving ahead aggressively, internationalizing and uh, uh, charting out, uh, you know, novel strategy and policy, uh, which uh, which are not which are very unique in its segment, you know, uh, because we are very unique in that sense is that um, we need to understand that where we are in a competitive advantage world, where the world is changing rapidly, right? Uh, post 1991, uh, during the Soviet, uh, for, you know, the Berlin Wall collapse. Uh, the unipolar dimension where USA uh, emerged as the you know, you know, only um, country uh, which was su a superpower. Later on, post 2012, this unipolar dimension has collapsed and a more liberal and a multipolar dimension of economic order has evolved. And you know that um, aligning to the World Bank Sustainable Development Goals of Jeffrey Sachs, the economist, uh, the world is fighting with critical issues like global uh, you know, climate change, sustainability, uh, health, education, poverty, inequality. Our education institution in that line is very unique is that we want to serve humanity with grace. We want to you know, align to human sufferings, eradicate poverty, give equal uh, education to a diverse community and this is reflected in our student body. When we reflect this on our student bodies, that our student body are very diverse. We are not very much critical on judging our students. We want to empower true Indian flavor a true India in our students by serving them and empowering them in, uh, you know, in, 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 in nation building, right? And uh, you can very well see that India is also evolving with the changing global order of three Ds. We call it three Ds is that uh, D, D number one is diversity, digitization or digital transformation. And number three is uh, <coughs> diversity. So these are the three fundas uh, uh, along with uh, it, uh, it's fused with two eyes. I is one is inclusion, one is um, uh, one is uh, inclusion, one is innovation. So these five dimensions are very important nowadays uh, uh, in education sector because you know uh, when the world or the global order is changing, it has a ripple effect on all the dimensions of the economy, and education cannot be left alone. So, according to the National Education Policy of uh, 2020 and redrafting also, uh, the the, econo the education sector is getting liberalized. The government of India has also um, uh, inviting foreign academic institutions. Already, Deakin University is there in gifted city 
in Gujarat. So aligning to that, the IMS is also taking its step ahead in this competitive world by, you know, imbibing um, internationalization, global exposure and bringing in uh, uh, the, the student first policy so that students are our only brand communicators and students uh, need to be empowered with the latest technologies and globally re relevant uh, skills and uh, triggers, right? So what happens is that <coughs> we are uh, we are actually uh, in a very short span of time. If you see our uh, historical data within uh, five months, if we produce our own records, like uh, or we produce our own, we give actually marks card to students. But this is the right time when uh, faculties and uh, you know institutions give their own marks card. How we perform? So if you see like past six seven months, we have already been member of three top global accreditation bodies like ACSB, EFMD, AMBA. These are very prestigious and you know, they are not given, institutions are not given membership very easily like this. They are actually judged on their quality of education, academic integrity, honesty, rec recruitment policies, what are the ethics followed and all these things. So at IMS, we don't forget India. We know that India is very unique. We have the Nalanda School of Thought, we have the Tatsila School of Thought. We are very unique, okay? So this India way of thought is infused into global or Western thought processes. And we are emerging as an entrepreneurial institute. Like, you know, we, uh, we, yeah, we, 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 uh, yeah, we produce like, you know, champions from these institutes, which are very unique. Uh, we, uh, I can say a little bit of micro, micro uh, level thought process I can give you is that uh, when you talk about India, we are very well placed. We are uh, like, we have been constantly ranked. Uh, others are quite um, very much aware about our growth story. And if you talk about Maharashtra and Pune, uh, we think we are very unique and very progressive, very aspirational and um, uh, I, I, I'm not actually, uh, I'm the not solely the uh, voice, like uh, people should also judge and people are aware and people are knowing that uh, we are quite championing the cause of education to serve humanity with grace. So Dr. Samrat sir, uh, what are your mission and vision towards IIMS at Puro? Yes, so um, the institute uh, came into being uh, under the able leadership of Professor Manisha Mundada, uh, who is a true champion of academics. And he himself is a successful academician uh, from abroad. And his vision was to build an institute of excellence, which should serve the true Indian, uh, true Indian, true India or the true Indian. Uh, when I talk about true Indian, is that Indian who is not only for the elite schools like St. Stephen's, Miranda House or St. Javier's. This Indian is aspirational. This Indian wants to excel in life, to give back to the society, to build India and to contribute to the economic growth of the nation. So IMS is on the foundation of serving humanity with grace and excellence and to eradicate human sufferings from its core. Great. So, so if I want to ask you that why one should join IIMS College, what would what would be your thought on education? See, uh, we have always believed that uh, our doors are open for those students, irrespective of gender, class, sex, to come to this institute as a person who is aspirational, growth oriented, and to contribute to the growth of the nation. Okay, we believe in equality, we believe in justice, and we uphold the constitution of India at its core. We are aligned to the government of India's uh, national education policy. We are doing great in all spheres, particularly internationalization of education. Uh, we believe in bringing in empowerment uh, of women. We believe in uh, giving latest technologies like Bloomberg, uh, business simulations like Sesim, uh, to support uh, faculty and student research with advanced software tools like Turnitin and other software. Uh, better of our faculties have uh, like um, like diverse collaborations with foreign universities. Faculties they 
publish regularly they publish books patents copyrights uh, and what not we are always active we are a action based institute we are a very unique institute we serve a, a diverse segment but as i said um, students are our uh, first policy and we are an institute built of the student for the student by the student amazing so would you like to pass on any simple message to the student or the youth of this generation um see the students are students okay so they are like you know, very little babies okay uh, they come with a lot of hopes dreams aspirations they come with a message of hope from uh, the parents okay they have duties uh, to serve they are the true nation builders right so what happens is that uh, i would love to give the students a norm a simple advice is that um, don't get carried away by digital transformation they don't get carried away by web 5.0 uh, web 5.0 uh, academics imbibe with holistic and extracurricular activities is a must when you are uh going into the uh going into the uh, going into the uh, future like you know and you shouldn't think only about like you know how well you are placed you should judge yourself on a very holistic manner like people can be entrepreneurs people can join the academic fraternity as researchers faculties people can be in corporate so you should widen your horizon and you should align to nation building Thank you so much sir thank you for your time thank you very much